Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will see how to group and filter items in a Sync Fusion Blazor combo box component. Looking at this example, you can see the combo box displaying different vegetable names. These vegetables are grouped under different categories like leafy and salad, beans, and bulb and stem. You can also filter the specific vegetable names that match characters you type in. I will show you now how to group and filter the combo box items using the existing Blazor application. Here, I have added the Blazor combo box with basic properties. Also, I have bound vegetable names as the data source. If you would like to watch the video on the basics of adding a Blazor combo box, follow the link provided in the card. You can also find a reference link in the description below. Now, I will run this example by pressing F5. So here, you can see the combo box showing vegetable names. Now, let me show you the steps to group these combo box items. First, I will modify the existing data source by defining one more field category with appropriate values. Then, I will map this newly defined data source field name category to the group by option within the combo box field settings tag. Now, when you look at the combo box, the data items are grouped under the category leafy and salad, beans, and bulb and stem. Next, I am going to show you how to filter the data items in the combo box based on the characters I type in the search box. To start filtering the data items, first, I need to enable the filtering feature in combo box. So, let me define the property allow filtering and set its value to true. Look at the combo box now. When I start to type some characters here, you can see the pop-up displaying the vegetable names that start with my typed characters. Notice that, by default, the casing of the typed characters is ignored during the filtering action. If I want the casing be matched, then I need to set the ignore case property to false. So, you can see in the combo box, when I start to type in some characters in uppercase, the combo box comes back with no records due to the casing mismatch. Next, let me explain the filter types of the combo box. By default, the starts with filter type is applied while filtering the data items, but you can also filter the items based on two other types, ends with, or contains. For example, let's look at filtering based on the end characters. I will define the property filter type and set its value as ends with inside the combo box code. If I type some characters here, you can see the pop-up showing vegetable names that end with my characters. Similarly, you can apply the contains filter type to filter for the data items that contain your characters anywhere in their names. Okay, let me summarize some of the important points now. We have seen how to group the Blazor combo box items. Also, we have seen the supported filter types in combo box and how to apply those filters. If you would like to see the working example of the combo box, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. You can also see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Blazor products through our community license. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.